Hey guys, Tom here from The Lens Depot, here today to talk to you about the brand new DJI Mavic Pro. Um, it is DJI's latest uh, drone, so we're going to talk today about what's included with it and uh, some tips for you before you take it up into the sky. So let's get right into it. Uh, with the package, we do include some extra props for you. Uh, we have the brand new remote. You can see it compacts up nice and small. Um, and then folds out and you can put your uh, device here at the bottom. We have a USB cable to charge the remote. There's a little adapter here. This will allow you to um, connect one of the batteries to this and then you can charge either the remote or your uh, device directly from that with a USB cable. The um, remote does come with its own uh, proprietary cables. Um, these are just, they, we'll go over a little later in the video, but it just makes connecting your phone a little easier to this. There are also some brackets here that clip into the side to help hold the USB cables. Um, if the cables we provide don't work with your phone uh, that you're going to be using with this, there is also a standard USB port in the bottom that you can connect to. Um, we have the charging hub. This connects to either the wall outlet battery charger or the car charger, and this can charge up to four batteries. You can also connect your, uh, the single battery directly to the charger, um, or you can connect the USB cable to the uh, wall charger to charge the remote. Just keep in mind, you do not want to charge the remote and a battery at the same time on the same charger. Uh, DJI does not recommend that. We do include three batteries. Um, slightly improved flight time. Um, you know, it's somewhere between about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, it does depend on a lot of different conditions, uh, whether you're in GPS or sport or Addy mode. Um, the app does kind of give you a readout of how much time you have left. So, you know, always keep an eye on that. And then here it is, the Mavic. You can see it is very, very tiny. We were uh, extremely surprised with how small it was. Um, you know, the videos, you get an idea that it's gonna be really tiny, but I mean, actually seeing it, it's, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so we've gone over everything that's included with the drone. Now let's get into the drone itself. So one thing you'll notice is there's a new dome that is over the front of the, uh, the unit. DJI includes this as a uh, protection for the camera and the gimbal while the unit is in transport and specifically while it's in flight. Um, we do recommend uh, leaving this on here because it is a nice extra layer of protection. Um, however, one thing to keep in mind is it can cause some glare or sun flare if you're pointing it directly at a bright light source. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Now, um, before you turn the unit on, before you do anything, uh, you do need to take this off because there is a gimbal clamp included. Um, it's right here. All you have to do is just kind of pinch and pull this out. That comes off and then uh, before you uh, transport the unit, you'll just want to reinstall that to make sure that the gimbal's not moving around while it's in transport. So. Um, once you do that, then you can go ahead and put the gimbal clamp back on. You'll see there's two little tabs. They just clip like so, and then it snaps back in in the bottom. So now that we have the gimbal clamp removed, we do want to uh, open up the drone. Um, you'll start with these top feet. These just simply swing out like so. Then the rear feet are uh, folded in, so these unfold like that. Now, the props uh, are a little bit different. You can see that they're folded up. Before you start the unit, you can actually leave these folded. You don't have to have them spread out. Once you actually start the motors, they'll uh, go into the correct position. Um, if you've ever flown a DJI drone before, you know that there's two different sets of props. There's the black props and the white props. Uh, this is the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of them off. It's a little bit uh, different compared to some of the, um, the older drones, but you basically, you'll see on the top of the, the prop, the lock position. So um, what you do, and we've got it here, you can see there's three little tabs, and these correspond with three tabs on the motor. 
You'll just want to line those up, push down slightly, and then turn that in the lock position and make sure it's snug. Now, you'll be able to tell the difference between the props. This is one of the white props, so there's a little white circle around it. And then this is one of the black props, and you can see there's no circle. Um, it's also the same thing on the motors. You have the black and then the white. So obviously you want to make sure that you install the correct blade onto the correct motor and um, then we'll be able to go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so another new thing with the Mavic is the remote controller. Um, I have my phone already installed on this now. Um, like I'd mentioned earlier in the video, DJI does include a uh, new set of USB cables that we include with our package. Um, they have them for the most common type of connectors for, uh, for most uh, Apple or Android phones. Basically, the uh, end is going to connect here into the left side, and then the, you feed the lead down on the, the left here to plug into your device. Um, this is not really set up to accept any sort of tablet or bigger device, just to fit with the portability uh, of the Mavic. If you did want to connect one, you can with the bottom USB connector, you just would have to use your own cable. Um, but the problem is there's nowhere to physically fit that because this remote won't accommodate that. Um, another thing also to keep in mind, you may need to remove your, uh, your case from your phone depending on how thick it is. Mine just barely, barely squeezed in here um, and it did work. If you've ever booted up a DJI device before, you know they're like two button press to start up. That's still the same, uh, so we'll do the remote first. You always want to boot the remote, then boot the, um, the drone. And you also want to make sure that your antennas are always sticking straight up. Um, this is very important to get the best signal. So power button is here on the right. And we've got the chime. Um, you'll also, on your device, want to make sure that you have the DJI Go app installed. Now, uh, we've gone over this in, at great lengths in some of our other videos for like the Phantom 4 or the Phantom 3, um, and there is quite a bit to that. I would recommend if it's your first time using it. Uh, DJI does have a tutorial in the app the first time you boot up your drone, um, but they also have some great tutorials on their website for that. Now we'll go ahead and we'll boot the drone up. So once the remote and the drone are successfully connected, you can tell that you'll get the uh, video signal on the screen. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we do ship all of our Mavics in beginner mode. Um, this limits you to, uh, I think it's 30 meters. So you can't go any higher than that and you can't go any further than that um, away from you. If you do want to use it in the regular modes, you'll need to configure that in the app. Um, before you take it up, first and foremost, the very first thing you should do is calibrate the compass. Um, to do that, if you hit this top bar, which is currently red, you can kind of see this here in the video, it's red because there's no GPS connection because we are in beginner mode. Uh, you'll press that and there's an option to calibrate the compass. The app will walk you through that. You just want to make sure that you rotate, uh, you hit calibrate, you'll need to hold the unit um, horizontally and then rotate it and then it'll ask you to flip it vertically with the nose facing down and then you'll rotate that again. Um, once you do that and the GPS is successfully calibrated, you'll get a prompt on the screen. Um, if you need to do that again, then uh, it'll tell you in the app does take a couple of seconds, but then once you're successful, uh, it'll give you the ready to fly in GPS mode, and then you can also see the um, number of uh, uh, satellites that you're connected to. So once you have the compass set, then you're ready to take it off. There's two different ways you can take the unit off. Um, I recommend in the app, there is on the left side of the screen, the ability to uh, automatically take the unit off. Um, that's the easiest thing. You would just tap that. The unit will go to a hover and then from there you can take it up in the sky. Um, you can also manually start the craft by holding the two thumbsticks, basically pointing them together uh, towards the center and then that'll manually start the engine. Now once you have the unit in the sky, um, a very important thing uh, is you want to keep an eye on your battery life. Like I had mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the flight time is about 20 to 25 minutes and um, 
at the 30% mark, the unit will uh, give you a critical warning. So that's how we have that set up, just so that way you have an idea of where you are. Um, and then at about 10%, the unit will start to come home. Um, we put the 30% warning in there just because uh, if you're not coming home when it hits that 10% mark, um, it may be too late, so you want to start trying to bring it back. Um, and another thing is once it hits that critical level, the unit automatically uh, will shoot up into the sky to clear any sort of obstacles and then start to come home. Um, so. You definitely want to make sure that uh, you have the unit coming home before then, and uh, we always recommend putting it into the come home model or uh, the come home mode. Um, what that does is it will take it back to your home position where you calibrated the compass, and um, it'll kind of hover towards you and then start to come down. Um, just like a lot of the other drones, this does tend to come in a little bit fast, so you can throttle up if you feel like it's coming in uh, a little bit too quickly. And then an interesting feature that they've added on the Mavic is right before you land, it seems to hover about three feet above the ground, and then the app will prompt you to make sure that you, uh, you actually want to land the unit. So it'll come down to about that three foot mark, it'll hover, and then it'll come towards the ground. So a couple of other flight tips. Um, if it is your first time flying, we always recommend going into a very big wide open space um, just to kind of get your footing and, uh, and become familiar with it. This does have forward obstacle sensors similar to the Phantom 4, um, but you still want to be very cognizant and aware of your surroundings and uh, what is, uh, you know, what's going on. Um, you know, we do recommend being very careful of obviously trees, power lines. If it is very windy, um, you know, you don't want to take any risks and try to fly it and lose control of the drone. Um, you know, just be very aware, be very mindful. Um, and you know you should be good to go. Um, that kind of wraps up the Mavic Pro. It's a powerful unit. It is absolutely great. We're amazed what DJI has packed into this small little drone. Um, you know, if you do have any questions when you get the the Mavic or uh, before you're taking it up, don't hesitate to call us. We're here Monday through Friday. Um, if it is after hours, you can also send us an email, um, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Um, and that does it for the Mavic Pro. So uh, be sure to check us out uh, at thelensdepot.com. And thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy the Mavic Pro.